Hi, I'm Lee Partridge and welcome back to Cole UTV for our pre-match show as we prepare to take on Grimsby Town in an all-important clash in League Two this evening. A reminder that if you're not here at the JobServe Community Stadium, you can watch the match full live on iFollow with a £10 match pass. Just head across to the website to see how you can get one of those. You'll also find the latest team news on there and on our socials with Danny and Nicky's side already warming up here in North Essex. Before we hear from Danny, let's get the thoughts of returning goalkeeper Sam Hornby. Back in the team for a league game for the first time since November 2022. Sam played his part in a 3-2 all-important win on Saturday. Here's his pre-match thoughts. Sam, no time at all to enjoy Saturday's win, but on Saturday you must have felt that uh, you did a good job and the team did a good job. Yeah, I think the lads are excellent from uh, back to front um, throughout the game. Um, obviously then to finish with 10 men and then um, concede so, so late into injury time and then, and then uh, get over the line. Yeah, we're all delighted down there. And how tough is it mentally to, to not play anywhere near as much as you would have liked to play and then all of a sudden... Uh, yeah, you, you thrust into the team and uh, have to do everything that, that you know you're capable of, but under especially the pressure that we're under at the moment. Yeah, I'm not going to lie and say it's been easy. Um, I'm not going to lie and say this year's been been easy because it's probably been one of the most challenging years that I've had in football um, from the from the start of the season to up until now. But I've just kept my head down, worked hard, and I think it shows to anyone out there if if you keep working hard, keeping your standards high every day, giving your all 100% every day in training, then and hopefully good things come and you get rewarded with the game time that I, I did on Saturday. And I suppose as a goalie it is a little bit different because there's only one place to go for, you know, defenders can often play in a couple of positions and midfielders can be slotted in in different places, so it makes it even tougher when you've just got to sit out all the games. Yeah, and, and, uh, and Owen's done, done really well, um, so respect that and make sure I'm patient and like I said, just work hard every day and then and hope that you get opportunities that I've played in. I went on loan to Solihull and I thought that was brilliant for me and then obviously came back and played a few like 21s games and games that, that were organised for us and yeah like I said it's, it's, it's been tough but yeah I've enjoyed, enjoyed the challenge because it's made me grow as a person and, and yeah it's, it's something I'm, I look back with, uh, I'm quite proud of myself for, for how I've got on with it. Yeah, and, and obviously with a few games to go we, the pressure's still on us a, a, a little bit in terms of our league position. Did past experiences of that, like being here last season and being under that same pressure, does that help having a few players around that have done that? Yeah, I think so, because you've had experience, you know, the, the pressure, the cauldron we're in, like, it's, it's a high-pressured environment at the minute and we, we need to get results. Um, and there's, there's lads down there in the whole squad that are capable of, of performing on, on a Tuesday night or a Saturday, so we've got a real good squad togetherness. So, yeah, it's a, it's a brilliant squad down there and, and I think everyone is, is just chomping at that bit to to get another, hopefully get another three points on the board tomorrow night and then, and then we move on from that. An honest interview from Sam there, saying it's been one of the hardest years of his footballing career, but he put in a good performance on Saturday and fully deserves the praise coming his way now. A reminder, you can watch this evening's game live on iFollow. Just head across to the website if you're not here. And that was the same situation as you could with our game against the Mariners at Brunton Park in October. What a game it was. It had just about everything, including the important three points for us. Let's take a look at the short highlights.
a memorable evening on Humberside with Joe Taylor, Zach Mitchell and Arthur Reed all on target in that contest. Another win like that would put us in a strong position for this weekend's game against Notts County. But it's all focused on the Mariners at the moment, according to head, head coach Danny Cowley. This is what he had to say. Danny said on Saturday you probably wouldn't have long to enjoy the win. I presume yeah, the preparations are all uh, mid-flow for tomorrow night's game. Yeah, absolutely. We were pleased with the performance on, on Saturday. Um, I was proud of the, the, the efforts of the players, particularly the resilience and the, and the grit that they showed after playing so well against Wrexham and then Stockport and not getting anything for, for, for our good work. Um, for the boys to, to show up again and get to the levels that they did, um, credit to them. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a good performance and um, it certainly gave us something to build on on Tuesday night. And certainly something for you, you know that their levels now are that high and you'll want to see them more and more in the last few games. Well, I think good players, good teams back up good performances, don't they? Um, and we have the, the, the opportunity to, to do that on Tuesday. I think we play a Grimsby team who are, you know, who've been fighting for their lives themselves. Um, had a really positive result on Saturday against Crew, which pretty much retains their status in the division. Um, it's been interesting to watch them because obviously we prepared for them in February and they were playing a possession-based game. Um, very different to what they've probably done in the last 10 to 12 games where they've played much more direct, been much more purposeful in their play. Um, lots of balls in the box, long throws on both sides. Um, and, and yeah, absolutely ask you a lot of questions in, in that way. Um, so we're going to need to be ready for that. Um, but we've shown that we can, we, can, we can stand up to that. We've done that in the past. Um, and for us at home, where we love to be, you know, four, four games left now and, and three of those at home is just, just a brilliant opportunity for us. And um, we can feel the connection with our supporters growing. Um, by the day. I mean, uh, the away support at Crawley was just, just incredible on Saturday and the home support has, has, been, has been brilliant since, since Nicky and I arrived. So that's going to be really important come, come tomorrow for sure. And Dave Artell, very experienced manager, and he was very, very clear to his team after the game that it wasn't done and dusted. They still need a point to be mathematically safe. So you'll probably be expecting as tough a game as you, you would have done any time against a Yeah, of time. course, of course. You know, at this level, everybody's professional um, in, in their approach. And yeah, I think they have goal, goal difference on their side probably. But, but no, it, it's to put the energy and the focus on us. And um, we know what we have to do. We definitely still need points. We had a good result on Saturday. Um, we know that we need to get six points. And if we get six points um, in the next four games, then none of the other permutations matter. And, and that's really where our, our energy and focus is. And, and has that been good for the, for the squad and for yourself that it has always been in our hands? It's what we do and not what anyone else is doing. I think it's always been that. It's always been for us about the process. It's always been about the performance. Um, we haven't always had the outcome that maybe our performances have deserved. Um, but we haven't shown any weakness in those moments. We've just tried to get better. We've just tried to improve. We've just tried to take the learnings. There's, in a lot of the games since I've been here, in the 15 games I've been here, there's been um, a real consistency in our performance. Unfortunately, sometimes the outcome has been, been influenced by... by uh, individual error, technical error, um, some crazy moments that have, that have cost us probably uh, accumulating more points than, than, than we have. But um, we've been really consistent in, in the level of performance and we need to be really consistent in the next four games. Um, yeah, like I said, we've, we're, we're, we're a team that's growing. We're improving all the time. I think we are finding different ways um, to, to, to win games, which is good. Uh, you know, on, on Saturday, we had to be um, super organised against the ball. We had to play with a, with a real intelligence. We had to play, but also with the, with the, the intensity that we like against it. Um, I think tomorrow night, the challenge is different. Crawley were very possession-based. Grimsby are very direct. We have to be ready for this and we have to make sure that we stand up to it. And then we have to be good enough to, um, to, to take the ball ourselves um, and play, play the way that we want to play. Yeah, and talking about being ready for it, you've talked to, ever since you got here about it not being about one player, not being about 11 players, about being the whole squad. And of course, Sam Hornby proved that on Saturday, not played for a while, come in and does a job. 
and there'll be others that that might be the case for for the next few games as well. Yeah, absolutely. I was so so pleased for Sam. Um, he was so deserving of a, of a really good performance. He's a, he's a brilliant professional. Every day he comes in, he trains with intensity, he tries to get better, always brings enthusiasm. Um, he's a really reliable, experienced goalkeeper. I thought his game management was, was excellent on, on, on Saturday. Um, and, he, and he also, towards the end, made some, some, some really good saves for the team. So it was a good performance. Um, but the great thing about elite sport and professional football, um, the next game comes around really quickly, so no time to get ahead of yourself. You, you have to go and back it up and go and perform to the same level again. And, but yeah, from our point of view, it's always lovely when the, when the selfless players, you know, the Sam Hornby, the, the Tom Hoppers, um, get the rewards that they deserve because they give so much to the team. Some of it goes unrecognised and unnoticed. Um, so when, they, uh, when they're able to get the, the, the limelight, if you like, it's always, it's always nice from, for, from our perspective. And you won't, you won't find two more selfless players than, than, than Tom and Sam. So it was great to, to see them get their just rewards at the weekend. And that togetherness was evident after the match where, you know, even the likes of Fikra and Harry Anderson and uh, Manny Egbo, who weren't involved in the squad at all, were kind of uh, crawly and uh, enjoying the win with everyone. Absolutely, they were all there. I wore Edwards, yeah, yeah. All the, the whole group, the whole group is really together. Um, yeah, they they've been through a lot together this season, um, and I think that those experiences has really united the the players. And there's a there's a really good spirit uh, amongst the group. You can see that everybody's fighting for the same calls. You can see that everybody's putting the team before themselves. You can see that everybody's fighting, fighting together. And um, yeah, they're, 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 there's a good feeling, not just within the group, but within the club. Um, the supporters are bringing loads of energy and loads of positivity. Um, and collectively, I, I, I think everybody can see that we're moving in the right direction. What we have to do now in the next 12 days is ensure that we get the performances and the, the outcomes that we need to retain our status in this division. Um, and then from that moment onwards, the, 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 we, we, we can then look to the future. And to me, that, that will be such an exciting opportunity. Danny saying his side have given themselves a decent platform to build on for this evening's game after Saturday's crucial win. And you can watch along with everyone else, even if you're not here, with a £10 match pass on iFollow. Once again, head to the website for all the details. And if you are here, it's time to head out, take your seat for the game, give it everything, cheer on the lads, and hopefully we're talking another three points this evening. I'll be back for tomorrow's midweek show, where we'll take a look back at the Crawley game and this evening's game. Until then, enjoy the game. Have a great evening. It's goodbye for now.